Hello. How's everyone doing tonight? Alright then. Alright, so today is going to be relatively interesting. Mostly because of the fact that I'm wondering if I even should attempt this one. Because from the way it sounds, it sounds complicated. We're going to be getting a new party member today. But, uh, from the way it sounds, it sounds like it's a bit of a headache. So, I'm just wondering <laughs> if I should go about it. Oh well. I guess I'm going to. But, in the last, uh, stream, we've completed a whole bunch of quests, mostly in regards to getting the majority of the party members that had originally been with us before the world went to ruin, as well as get a new one, which is Umoro. Uh, we also defeated the, uh, uh, Doom Gaze. And we got Bahamut with us now. Which is awesome. But yes, we have Bahamut with us. So, we're doing good so far. There are a couple more espers we still need to get. But that's for, like, when we get to that point. But this particular one, I don't know if I should. Uh, for those that don't know... We're fixing to go after a guy by the name of Gogo. -Go. So, yeah. This should be interesting. <coughs> I have no idea how this is going to be like, but... Cornwall says we're supposed to go to this Triangle Island. Okay. So, let's see here. Okay. So, those particular things, the way it wants us to do it, it wants us to get eaten alive by those things. So, which I find weird, but okay, whatever. Okay, that's one party member. Maybe I should just stop Umaro from attacking? Of course, it doesn't really matter, he's going to attack, regardless. But, if I'm gonna get myself eaten alive by these things, I'm gonna have to stop him. Which is gonna be weird. You're taking the one person that I- oh, never mind.
This is gonna be a long part, though. <laughs> it's like, I'm stopping myself while at the same time slowing myself down. So that it can eventually eat me alive. How weird is that? This is about the only way I can get this done. And now we wait. I figured these things would be a lot stronger, but apparently not. But considering the fact that technically this is a optional character, it wouldn't have made things any different. Because it's like you could have easily missed this part and never have known it. dimension I didn't mean for that to be the case I didn't know which way was the exit now I gotta do this again But now that we know that technically that's a exit, I will be sure to remember that and go the opposite direction. It's just, again, this sounds incredibly complicated. I've ever had that happen. That was a random thing. Hmm. Either way, noted. Don't go that way, go this way. Okay, these guys I can kill. How hard are they to kill? Not that hard. So in other words, I don't have to worry about wasting uh, my magic and basically doing the opposite, which is to cure them, which is to put life on them, which insta-kills them, technically. That's good to know. That means this area isn't that hard.
It doesn't seem that bad. So I can't be knocked down by these things. Okay, there we go. It sounded like as though if it was going to be like some kind of Super Mario level or something like that. Which I would not doubt. Also, to let you know, guys, I did grind my characters to where all of them had Cure 3, at least. So, the later fights will be a little bit easier to deal with. We have a save point. With the exception of Kane, holy crap, everyone's doing okay. But I might as well. Alright then. Do I want to save, though? I mean, it's not hard to get out, thankfully. So... That way I don't have to start over. Really? Did not know about the feeling part. Othering is like fallen ceiling. And it's like, oh, literally, a falling ceiling. Okay, there's one spot down there. Hope I'm right. That is way closer than it should be. I should attempt that chest. 
What was that? What did I get? I went so fast I didn't even get a chance to look at it. Did I get what I think I got? I don't see it. So I guess I didn't get what I thought I got. If I had gotten that, I would have been like, oh my gosh, the game just got a lot more easier. Okay, well there's Hero's Ring. Raises fight and magic damage. As in what I put out or what the enemy can put out? Rush. Track star. Okay, it wasn't what I thought it was. Okay. Okay, so basically there's this item. And the only reason why I know about this was because I was recently looking up, like, how to get experience. And according to what someone recommended, it was go to Dinosaur Forest. Which, uh... The main dinosaurs themselves aren't the problem. It was the Brontosaurus that would pr pose to be a problem. So with that being said, um, there they mentioned a whole bunch of different items that you could get. Interesting. This is easy. But anyway, it mentioned of how there was like several items that you could get. One of which was an item called, uh... I don't know what this particular version calls it, but... There is an item called Three Stars. Which, if equipped, which is a relic, if equipped... Uh, all magic and abilities would only be consumed by one MP. Regardless of circumstance. As soon as I saw that, I was like, mental note. And the problem is, to get it, it requires me to kill Brontosaurus, which I've only fought one, and so far those are po posing a difficult challenge. Shrouded in odd clothing. Is this a man? A woman? Or should we ask? Interesting. I am Coco, master of the Securum. My mimicking skills will astonish you. Yes, I have been idled for too long. If I deem you worthy, I'll mimic your action in battle. But first you must tell me what you're doing here. What an unusual tale. But I sense that you're trying to help make things right again. This should be fun. Then do we leave? I just need to have the staple that was easy button with me at all times. Because that was way easier than it normally should be. Like, there's nothing else? And I don't think I can get across anything else, so... So unless there's any other reason for me being here, I think that was it. I 
I'm surprised I actually had that much time to go through. I think it got slower, or I got more aware of it. Either way, I'm glad I can get out easily. This area isn't really that hard, so I imagine you could probably do this any time after you got the uh, airship. Then it could be because I'm at level 46, so it's not like it's going to be that hard. I mean, most Final Fantasy games, to a certain extent, can be beaten before you even get past level 50. The only reason why I'm at level 50 or, not level 50, the only reason why I'm doing past level 50 is mostly because of the fact that I don't know how powerful these dragons are going to be. Because we've got, let's see, how many dragons have we got left? We got five dragons left in total. And in terms of espers we still need to get... I want to try getting that chest if I am able to. Fake mustache? I'm getting some weird items. Okay. You know, let's just go ahead and see what it does. I think... Let's see... Hero's Ring. Raises fight and magic damage. Also, what happened to Cain? What happened to him? I didn't even realize the stat effect was placed on him. That's a little weird. Also, I am completely off-centered, I've realized that. I know it seems pointless to be completely even, but it, to me, is very disconcerting. It's like, if I'm not completely evened out, then... It's going to cause me to... Oh! Well, never mind. Okay, red jacket. Oh, she can equip the behemoth and Moogle suit. Okay. So, I don't know who can equip the red jacket at this current moment in time. Doesn't look like no one. It wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. It just sounded weird. Yeah, okay. What happened to Kang? He just seems invi invisible.
Wait a moment. I know for a fact Terra couldn't have done that earlier before. That did work. Holy crap, that did a lot more damage. I was going to keep that one item that allowed her to consume MP, or uses half the MP cost, that most uh, spells would take. So you know what? I think I'll leave that on her. This is where you get. This is where you get into the point of the game where basically everything becomes harder and harder in terms of like items you want to equip, and it becomes more and more of the items that you want to hang on to because of how useful they are. But well, now that we got Go Go, let's go ahead and take a look at his stats and see how massively different his stats are. Okay, so it's 47. Mimic. Okay. That's the only ability he has. Okay. Makes sense. It's a shame that I don't have uh, Shadow with me, or otherwise I would have said that I've got practically all of the party members. I think I've got all of them, with the exception of Shadow. Because as far as I know, that's like the only party member that was left in terms of, like, secret party members to get. So, let's see here. Okay. So, our next step is to head over to the Opera House. But for the time being right now, I think we shall hang on to the previous party members that we have currently. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you. I like Umuro. Umuro's good. Okay, so next stop is the Opera House, which is down this way. Okay. All right. Considering what's going to be in there, I better go ahead and save. I mean, so far, with the exception of the Storm Dragon, the other two have not been bad. They've actually been the easier ones. Also because of the fact that I had, uh... Elemental attacks to them. Storm Dragon did not have an elemental damage, and instead, he just kept bombardment of the attack, so... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Shriek! Help! Help! Talk to the Impressio! Okay, where is he then? A dragon is sitting smack in the middle of the stage! 
Okay, fair enough. Can't really see the dragon, so... Okay. There's gotta be an easier way to get down there, isn't there? I mean, without me having to go through the top ceiling part. Okay, that's the opposite direction. Okay. Had to read it just to make certain. I was like, is there no other way except for that? I mean, Impressio didn't tell me to go into the switch room. He just said there's a dragon smack dab in the middle. It's like, well, I want to fight the dragon. Okay. Second switch from the right. Okay, it's doing it on its own. I fully committed to this. Oh dear lord. I thought I had haste on all of them. I guess the next thing I need to do is to fix that. Oh crap! Also, I meant to cast Ice 2, not Ice 3. Even though that's a lot of damage. Well, Kane's dead. As fun as all this is, I'm starting to get this funny feeling that the dragons are not as hard as I thought they would be. Because with the exception of the storm dragon, all of them are dying. I mean, yes, they are somewhat a menace to me, but they're not as much of a menace. Looks like we're gonna have to save the day once Looks like we're going to have to save the day once again. Alright. 
so that's got that thing. Of course. So that takes care of that dragon now. Next up, uh, Salt. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing it because I am definitely wrong. It's the same island that I was at before I started this whole thing. It's right down here. Oh, I can land on those things. For a second there, I thought I couldn't. At least it makes sense now. Okay, technically there's an Esper here. Where would it be at? Ah, right there! Alright! We got that thing now. Okay, that one's max, so... But let's see. Ah, right there. Okay, I definitely need to get that. Because I just saw haste 2 and slow 2. It's like, I don't care. I need that now. Plus, Kane doesn't have haste for some reason. He has slow, but he does not have haste. So I might as well equip it to him. But now that I've got Haste 2, I mean, record, not all of them has to have Haste 2. Just certain party members need it. That's got that now. Okay, so if we want to get that, we need to have them. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're heading to a place called Duncan's House. Where is that at? Oh. Right next to Narsha. But... I mean, if it's that easy to get, then I'm not going to question it. Technically... I think that's right there? Then again, I need to have Sabin with me first. One second.
Okay, we're gonna keep, uh, the three with the exception of Umaro. Instead, we're going to switch Umaro with the bin. I guess we'll just attach that one for now. At least this way he'll have... Um, at least this way he'll have um, HP anyway. Because I don't think Quake would be as useful as I think it would be. Okay, if I'm correct... Yep, this is the place. Duncan? <laughs> Why the surprise face? Did you think I'd gone? Duncan, I'm so glad you're safe. Whoa! Sabin, this can't be... Tears? <laughs> Nothing happened to me. The earth yawned right open to take me, but I scrambled to safety. Sabin. It is now time to complete your training. Use these new skill to smash Kefka. Put him up. I love how the three are just like, what the frick's going on? I call this the bum rush. Go, give Kekka the boot. Alright, that was easy enough. Okay, before we do anything else... I want to make certain... that there isn't any other easy one. Because, as it stands right now, as it stands right now, we have about one, two, three major quests left to do. Count them, three major quests. Which means, after that, we are on our way to dealing with Kefka. Okay. Just making certain that... Let's see, is there anything... 
Okay. Alright. We have our mission. For YouTube, this whole entire video is mostly going to be just completing smaller quests. Because, technically... Well, see, here's the thing. Tonight, I just wanted to be... Me playing through Final Fantasy VI for at least a couple of hours. Because, this past week... I say this past week because of the fact that I took a whole week off. I have not really done much of anything. On the one hand, I feel bad, but on the other hand, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed every bit of it, actually. But, the thing is, is that, because I haven't worked over a week, I am afraid of how the first night back is going to be. So I need to try to get plenty of rest. So, I was thinking about ending the stream right around... Three? Three or four. So, we've got like three extra hours that I could play and everything like that. But considering the fact that we haven't got that much left... Trying to figure out where it's at. Oh, okay. I know where I need to go now. But... Considering how much we have left to do before the big final finale, I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay. So, in other words... Actually, hold on, I still need to do one more thing before I actually go in there. But, basically, I was thinking to myself, I was like, depending on how things go, because at first I thought I had a lot of stuff that still needed to be done. That's not the case. It's just, it seems like I've got a lot to do. But in reality, I don't have that much left. Oh, here I thought I had an extra one. Apparently not. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Maybe I might actually eventually get him to learn Ultima, so... Alright then. We'll do this one real quickly... ...for this one video. Alright then. But yeah, depending on how things go... Depends on how much time is left for the big finale. Yeah, we're back! It's like old times. Time to relax. Home sweet home. Grandpa! This is terrible! Gongo's hut! Gungo? Gungro! Wake up! Who did this to you? 
It was... Hindon. The beast you and I used to hunt. I almost had it. You took on Hindon? Oh, ho, ho, ho! G Gungo! Shrago, please, you must avenge me! <laughs> Gramps, why are you hesitating? Well, I spent my youth chasing that creature. To do it again at this age is more than I bargain for. Gongoro, rest easy. I'll do it for you. Grandpa! Just a minute. You don't think you're going alone, do you? I spent too many years of my life hunting that thing. It is my exception, not yours. But Grandpa, this exception of yours could easily slay you. You're my grandfather. I can't just sit idly by and watch you go. Sorry, Realm. I'm so grateful that you care. But as this name implies, the Hindo is extremely difficult to find. Unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Next up, Enbooth Rock. Phew. So I imagine Inbu's rock is on the other aisle. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Alright then, well, let's get this on. I'm hungry! Hungry, 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 Feed me! Otherwise, I won't let you buy. I like to eat coal. Have any? Skin flit. Get out of here! Okay. Okay, here we go. So how hard are these enemies? Not that hard.
Well now, I see where this is going. It's just gonna randomly teleport me. So the way this next part is gonna be is that I have to collect 50 coal. Fifty pieces of coal, which can only be attained through treasure chests. And apparently, according to what it says, it's randomly generated. So I have three now. Six. I think I better go ahead and keep a calculator to keep myself reminding me how many more I have left. Okay. I think the only annoying part about this particular one is that once you do get 50. I imagine getting back would be random as well. Of course, I wonder if you could just warp yourself out of there and then enter back in and give to the chest. Okay, that was five. Okay, three. There we go. Like I said, considering it's randomly generated, it means that it could be an infinite amount of chances. Meaning that there could be a... depending on how many rooms it could generate. I'm gonna say there might be a possibility of like five or ten different rooms. It could regenerate up to like one in five or one in ten depending on how different the room is. So far I've seen like four different rooms, with the exception of the two rooms, which is the entrance and then the chest. Okay, that's two. Got 20 so far. Thankfully these monsters aren't that hard. Like that helps out tremendously. Cause if these enemies was any harder, then yes, it probably would be difficult. Actually, that's probably why they give me the warp stone, so that way I can get out easily. I just realized that, it's like, it's giving me a bunch of warp stones. We're gonna make this a little bit faster. Especially since we're having to continuously look for 50 pieces of coal. Okay, 
another three. Considering how long it's going to take to get these uh, 50 pieces of coal, because I'm already over halfway now, so... I wish you would give me at least one piece of coal for every battle I fight. Where the chest at? Oh, right there. That was a help. Getting these two pieces is oh crap! It started over on me. Let's see. I was at thirty-nine. There we go. Okay, once I get 50 pieces of coal, then I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break. Cause I'm starting to feel my uh, tooth cavity starting to bother me right now. I mean, it's not hurting, but Let's put it this way, it's like I said before, earlier this week, I feel aches. That's all I'm feeling right now. It's not intense pain, it's not agonizing, it's just... It's just, uh... It's just tenseness. And thankfully it's not coming from the main source, it's just coming from the two teeth that would lean around it. So if it wasn't for that, it wouldn't have been... If it wasn't for those two, I wouldn't have felt, I wouldn't feel anything. We can get a couple more. That way I'll have it.
Actually, I could always look at my inventory. What am I doing? Like we were telling me. Two pieces. Okay, how many have I got technically? Okay, there's a warp stone. Where's the coal at? Oh. Don't tell me how many I've gotten. I know for that fact that I've got more than 50. But it's not going to tell me how many I've got. Go figure. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a warp stone. To get out of here. Because, I mean... Their item drop, so why not go ahead and use them? And then I'm gonna save, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take myself a brief break. So for those that are on Twitch, if you'll give me a little bit, uh, we will resume. Those on YouTube, next video we will take on the uh, hin, hindo, hidon, 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 hidon. I believe is what it's pronounced, but anyway though. Give me just a little bit.